Hello everybody and welcome back into the dungeon for one of our last preseason updates on the Sundays in the Garden. Um, well, it's it's getting close to time, you know, in theory June 1st, uh, a lot of people are saying the uh, first full moon after the 1st of June, so that's probably what I'm going to wait for with most plants, but that said, I do have some that are outside hardening off and uh, of course the ones that I already put in the garden because... Well, they were extras, so I could take that chance. But, let's take a look at what's growing on down here in the dungeon in the meantime, and uh, we'll see if you can guess which plants are missing. Went into a larger city today, hit one of the box stores, little nursery section, ended up with seven new types of peppers that I didn't already have on the grow. And, these little strawberries were like 98 cents each. But, focus, a white berry, Sounds like it should be quite interesting. I think I might try putting one of these where the tomato is and or where the basil is because the basil is not doing well in the hydroponics. And I may keep some of these down here because I got a Tabasco. Let's see. Go through the actual list. I got a Hungarian hot wax here. Got a candy apple, a sweet pepper. If anybody knows well, how those are, please let me know. Sweet pepper lemon dream bag there. I found nice healthy looking Tabasco start pretty happy with that in the back row we've got a Cajun Bell I have had seeds for these sent to me but they haven't done well with sprouting got a burning bush hot pepper so that'll be interesting and a hot pepper called a sweet thing so that's an interesting kind of contradiction in terms gotta love an oxymoron we'll see uh, what comes of it all yeah down here in the transplanted pots. Recently transplanted this MOA Scotch Bonnet. Seems to be doing all right. This tomato here has been in there forever. Oh yes, I finally got yellow sticky tabs because they were uh, in one of the gardening sections, so I thought I'd give them a try. Seems to be doing better collecting bugs on some of these plants than others. But I'll take anything I can get at this point. So, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the hydroponics. Some interesting things going on on that garden anyway. So, in the world of interesting things going on down here, you'll notice I now have two bees working on all these peppers. So there's, there's no way I can really trust seeds from this. But on the plant right beside them, I have a fresh out of the cocoon little ladybug. And let's see if I can find it. Oh, these plants are horrible. Right there focus is the remains of its cocoon so I'm sure it will munch away and help clean things up for me but back over here this is the Chinese five color and you can see there are a couple of peppers happily started on that and over here we've got that sweet pepper that's coming along quite nicely back here we have the shishito pepper growing a little crooked but Got a little pepper on it there too. So that's cool. Things are actually coming along quite nicely down here. And now that I'm starting to get some of these plants out, the plants that are in the hydroponics I think have a much better chance of actually growing. Although that one, right, where is it? There. Seems to be doing pretty darn well. i turn turned my little fan so these guys are shaking away in the breeze, but uh, doesn't seem to be doing too much to stop the aphids. Well, if we look up here, we have an earlier stage of ladybug. So, excellent. Come to think of it, don't see too many aphids on that particular plant, so yay. Very excited. More of the yellow sticky traps around. This one doesn't seem to be really collecting very many, which is a shame because if we look on the leaves underneath it, they're there. So much for, uh, they can't resist the color yellow. Still, they don't have that much longer to wait inside. They'll be going out soon. A lot more critters out there to help consume these little buggers. I'm hoping this all ends well. Looks like we have quite a few of these young ladybugs kicking around. That's on the red ghost scorpion. And, try and find you with the camera. Got another one way in the back there. Focus camera, you can do it. Okay, maybe not. 
another one in the back there. I'll have to check and see what pepper that is. Trinidad Congo. So there is still some hope for the ladybugs helping me out here, which is why I have not yet done a garlic spray. So every time I get around to doing it, I find more ladybugs on the way. So, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Looks like I need to do a watering down here, though. Certainly wouldn't hurt. Yep, this basement of mine is going to look a whole lot different once these things start going outside. Gonna need some growth from those for sure. Get some green down here. Mind you, some of those peppers might stay here. We'll see. We'll see. So before we head outside into the wind to see what's growing on out there, and I do apologize profusely for the wind, let's check out the sand dollar pepper, which he 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 has a little flower on it. I've done my best to be a bee and not a bear. Hopefully, that is pollinated. Hopefully, it survives. So as I said earlier, I totally apologize for the wind. I swear it just gets worse when the camera comes out. Here you can see a fish pond I have recently received. Apparently it has a small leak in it somewhere that I need to hunt down and cover up with some liquid rubber, but luckily for me I've still got tons of that, so it should be easy enough. Inside it, you can see I am trying to harden off some plants I got at one of the local stores. There's a red pumpkin in there, sorcerer, sorcerer variety, I believe. There's a few tomatoes, there's some watermelon, zucchini, just kind of random stuff, whatever they had, really. Um, didn't have much in the way of peppers because, well, I've got a pretty decent select selection going on downstairs. Kind of hard to beat what I've got with local varieties that people will actually grow. Sitting on the evening porch here in front of that, as I just discover a soft spot on the floor, excuse me, we got a grape over here, just picked that up today, $10, seems like it's a reasonable place to start. Then we've got a lily down there that's going to go out front in the fairy garden. Stuck in between them we have a tomato from the basement that is already broken at the stem and wilting away because it's been ridiculously windy all day. We've got a few other things from the basement here. Doesn't really look like the tomatoes downstairs are doing well. The ones from the shop are just fine, but uh, the ones from downstairs aren't doing well. The eggplants seem to be fairly protected by the bucket, so that was my plan there. It does seem to be working so far. And the peppers seem to be fairly well protected in the bucket, so that's hopefully going to work out as well. Holy windy Batman. Anyway, this is the Nepalese bell that I've been growing forever in that uh, little folders can there. Figured I'd bring it out, see how it does. I'm going to use these ones as a test trial for all the ones that are downstairs. Granted, the longer I wait, the warmer it'll be, but I don't know about this wind. Yes. Out in the gardens, it looks like the peas are doing all right. The beans are certainly going crazy, so that's exciting. The sage is having a rough go. But hopefully it's going to get there, it'll make the trip. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Looks like the weary, weary pepper. Still trucking along, hasn't died off on me yet. Sturdy enough for the wind, so that's good. Inside these milk jugs, that's the real question. Does look like those peppers are still alive in there though. Including that reaper over there. But we're not going to focus on that because it's too darn windy. These tomatoes, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure are all dead, so I'll get to plant something else in here. That'll be interesting. We'll see what I do with the space. Sorry, that was kind of quick movement. Still not a lot going on with the seed tape, but uh, still got a little time. So yeah, holy windy. And I guess that's where I'm going to wrap things up today. The wind is a little crazy, a little hard to deal with. But uh, things are coming along, technically still pre-season here for Sundays in the Garden, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting grow, I think. We'll uh, hopefully get some good harvest this year. All right, thanks for sticking around, and uh, I will see you guys next week.